What's going on guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you my favorite ways to use a reflector. Now normally, we would use a five-in-one reflector. We checked all around the studio. We don't have one. We have individual reflectors here. Some of them are two-in-one. But nonetheless, we're gonna show you some of our favorite ways to use them when we're out on location. So we're gonna be heading out with our model Nina today using these reflectors for fill light. We're gonna be using them for uh, creative kicker lights and also for uh, direct light on our subject. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. It's like 110 degrees out here, but we're out here and we're gonna create some some really cool shots. So right here, if you look on the uh, the right side of my model right here, you can see the split where the sunlight is hitting the building and then it falls off into shadow. Well, we're gonna split the composition um, by utilizing that line. We're gonna have her turn her face into the sun, but if you notice right here, you have a lot of shadow fall off. And what we wanna do is we wanna get a little bit of light back onto her. So we're, first time we're gonna use a reflector, first shot we're gonna use the reflector for is to add a little kicker light to the back of our model. And, uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and separate her hair from the background right here. And then we'll also be able to create this really unique composition. We're gonna shoot it obviously in, in color, but I'm choosing the sun silver reflector here because I'm, I'm envisioning the color version of it having a little bit of a warm tone. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like right now. Okay, so right here we got Courtney holding the reflector right now. We don't want that reflector going onto the wall right there because it's gonna light up the background. So we wanna feather it offward and onto the model only. And, uh, and then if she can hold it in this position right here, it'll create really nice both separation from the background also a little bit of fill light in, that, in those dark shadows. So holding it about right there. So I'm shooting with the Canon 85 millimeter RF, gonna be about F4, 132 hundredth of a second right now. Let's go ahead and see what it, what it can turn out looking like. Raise that right shoulder up now. There it is. One more time, hold that right there. It's really important here, just keep your composition as straight as you can. Let's do one horizontal here. So chin up into the sun. Tilt your ear to the left just a little bit right there, perfect. And then chin up, light into your eyes, close your eyes. Excellent, all right, cool. Okay, so the next way that I like to use a reflector is to get fill light when I'm taking a close-up portrait. This could be a really, really beautiful shot, and I love doing it on overcast days, but also when your subject's in the shade, like she is right here, and we've got bright light coming from down above, we can go ahead and reflect it off the, the, uh, the white side of the reflector right here, and then go ahead and reflect it right back into her eyes. Now, on an overcast day, or when I don't have direct sun like this, I have to use something, or uh, the surface, it's gonna be a little bit more powerful. So in that case, I'll tend to use the silver side reflector. But right now, the white, light is giving us really, really good light into her eyes. And, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, see what we can get with this. Now, one more thing real quick. If you can't get the shot because we can't hold the reflector underneath her, you can also ask the model to hold it out just like this if you're only shooting from, from shoulders up. One, two, and three. Smiling. Perfect, chin down. Let's go hands in your, in your, around your head right here. Just kinda like, yeah, hold that for a second. Beautiful, one, two, and three. Perfect, perfect. And let's go hands like around your face like this now. Perfect, perfect, hold that. And again. Let's bring hair in front now. Looking right there, bring this wrist up like this now. Perfect, looking at camera. Awesome, okay. All right guys, this is one of my most absolute favorite ways to use a reflector. Now for this one, we're using the translucent reflector. Now, if you're using a five in one, typically this one is gonna be zipped inside the reflector. So you have to unzip it, pull it out and use it. But this is the one I use more often than any other one. And the reason for it is because it allows us to get beautiful light in situations where the light is kind of sketchy, right? Like this right here. It's about noon right now, maybe one o'clock. It's 107 degrees outside right now. We have nothing but hard light falling in this area. but we we have a pretty background right here and I wanna go ahead and utilize it. So what we're doing is we're allowing the sun to come through this translucent side of the reflector and it's creating, in essence, a really diffused, beautiful softbox-like effect. In fact, in my opinion, it's prettier than a softbox. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot this wide open, about 1.2, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. And actually, let's go ahead and ditch that pompous because I'm not liking it, so just kick that, yeah. Looking in that direction, yes, very pretty, hold that. Don't move, don't move, this is stunning. Chin up and into that light a little bit, there it is. Let's bring that hand in on your lap right there. Yep, just like that, perfect. Hold that, keep that face turned toward the light, close your eyes, there it is. Chin back toward me a touch. Let's go a couple horizontal now. Best shot of the day so far, hold that right there. 
All right, so following up on what we just did right now using the translucent reflector, sometimes we don't necessarily have the sun to work with, but we need that soft light. Maybe we left the soft box in the car. Maybe we forgot the mount. I know that's happened to me a million times, but what we can do is we can take that translucent side of the reflector and use it as kind of a scrim to go through the, um, the, the strobe itself. And that will create a soft box, even if you don't have a soft box with you. So let me go ahead and show you what this ends up looking like. Perfect, looking at the camera. Now go ahead and wrap yourself up like this and roll that shoulder up like that. There we go. And then let's go hands around your face like this again. Perfect, perfect. Chin back this way. Awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video on unconventional ways to use a reflector. If you like this video, go ahead and turn on notifications, like, and subscribe. It helps the channel. And uh, we were out here in 107 degree heat filming this. So uh, if you guys appreciate us, please do us a favor and do those things. Thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you on the next one.